I would now like to show you the different display elements and functions of the UT9012 generator. With the generator you can energize a line, inductive or galvanic, called direct. The generator detects whether a cable set is connected or not and switches to the corresponding energizing mode. First I would like to show you the display in inductive mode. The keys of the generator are partly double assigned. Depending on whether the key is pressed briefly or for two seconds the different functions are executed. Switching on the generator by pressing and holding the loudspeaker key for two seconds. The display of the generator is divided into five sections. In the lower left area the generator shows the energizing mode. Here it is the inductive mode. In the upper left area you see two symbols. The battery symbol shows you the battery status of the generator. The bar graph shows the selected output power level of the generator. As more bars are filled, as higher is the selected output power. If no bar is filled, the generator will not transmit. By pressing the power level key, it can be changed. The area at the top center of the display can show up to four information signals. The loudspeaker symbol indicates whether the acoustic signal output is switched on. To change the acoustic signal output, press the loudspeaker key. Below the loudspeaker symbol is the status symbol of the generator. In inductive operation, the status symbol can have two states. A target circle as a sign that the generator is transmitting. A standby symbol as a sign that the generator is not transmitting. Further symbols can be displayed depending on the setting and connected accessories. In the top right area, the transmit frequency is displayed in two ways. As a frequency in kilohertz and below the frequency in hertz. The energized frequency can be changed by pressing the F plus and F minus keys. Please note that in the inductive mode only a part of the transmit frequencies are available. In the lower right area you can see different values for the output. In the inductive transmit mode the output power in percent and the output voltage are displayed. Switch off the generator. I would now like to show you the display elements in direct mode. First connect the cable set to the generator. Switch on the generator. The generator shows you the direct transmission mode in the lower left area. The upper left area does not change. In the top center area, the status symbol of the generator can take on a third state, a target circle as a sign that the generator is transmitting, a standby symbol as a sign that the generator is not transmitting, and a warning symbol as a sign that the generator cannot transmit. In this case, please check the connection of the generator to the line. The frequency display in the upper right area does not change. In the lower right area, you will see four numerical values. The measurement current in milliamps, the output power in watts, the impedance between the terminals, the voltage in volts. The display measured values can help you to set up the generator correctly. Basic settings of the generator can be made in the menu. To do this, press the power level key for approximately 2 seconds. The device menu is displayed. Various submenus are available there. The selected submenu is displayed in verse. You can use the F plus and F minus keys to navigate through the device menu. 
You can select submenus with the power level key. In the submenu frequencies, you can select which frequencies are available for transmission in the main screen. The symbols behind the frequencies show for which energizing mode the frequencies can be selected. You can access the previous menu by pressing the loudspeaker key. In the settings submenu, various device settings can be made. The backlight can be switched on and off. Various functions for the output can be switched on. Please note that the output submenu is only visible if a cable set is connected to the generator. The meter view can be switched off to see less information in the lower right corner of the display. In the communication submenu, the generator can be connected to a UT9000 receiver. The generator can then be remotely controlled via the receiver. Switch back to the device menu. In the submenu options, you can change the language and the switch off time of the generator. With the submenu fault mode, you can activate a special operating mode for the step voltage probe. The system info submenu shows various information about the generator. The generator UT9012 is a powerful generator for line location. 